Welcome to Creating Excel from SQL. I'm Bob Cozy. This is part of our SQL iQuery product, and it allows you to transform SQL statements into Excel very easily. Let's look at how to do that. If you'd like to download this presentation, it's available in PDF form at sqliquery.com. SQL iQuery is a powerful database query and SQL scripting tool for IBM i. It can be run from the web, your web browser attached to the IBM i, or from command line, command entry, menus, CL programs, and so forth, and it runs the SQL processor. It contains a powerful scripting tool that lets you customize your SQL statements, and you can run any SQL statement you'd like, including the powerful select statement which allows you to run queries, Query 400 queries, using SQL iQuery. You can also send the results of a select statement to your choice of output formats, such as CSV, JSON, Excel, PDF, and others. Now, your data normally is out there on the system all over the place. Users are using Query 400 or maybe RPG with some embedded SQL, and they're getting results, and those results are often static and relatively uninteresting. You either get it on the green screen or print, or you've got a query report that gets generated that's kind of static. If you run these same SQL statements with SQL iQuery, you get the dynamic capability of it. That is, you can send the results of the exact same query to a PDF file, to an Excel file, you can transform it into JSON so that a web application can utilize the data, all without changing the SQL statement itself. So you get awesome results when you use SQL iQuery. SQL iQuery can be run from many, many interfaces, as I mentioned before. But the focus of this particular video is to show the capabilities of transforming your SQL statements into Excel files. So let's look at that. First, let's run a basic SQL statement. I want to run a select statement over a sample database that IBM ships with your system. It's called QCUST CDT, and it's stored in the QIWS library. Everybody has this little file. It's got about 12 records in it. And when we run this using SQL iQuery, we'll get the results right on the screen. So if you run it from command entry, you'll end up looking at a result like this. Beautiful display, numerics are right justified, column headings for numerics are right justified, text is left justified, and so on. And you can scroll up and down, left and right, just like you would expect. It's a really a utility screen, not really intended for end users, more for developers to check the results of their SQL statement until they get it formatted the way they want. Then you would output it in whatever result format the end users desire. Let's go and look at this again, but this time let's change the command a little bit and go output print. That's all we got to do. And then we're going to do, of course, work spool file and take a look. Now we're looking at the spool file for what we just did. And we get similar results when we're printed. So we have sort of a media independent output format. You just tell it what output format you want. It writes it. Of course, print and display are pretty standard, been around for 50 years, nothing special about that, except you still can't do that with standard SQL, just with iQuery. Let's look at how to transform SQL results into Excel using iQuery. Going from SQL to Excel with iQuery is just as easy as going to standard output, display, or print. The output parameter is simply changed to output Excel. We support three formats. Classic CSV, if you want to use that or if you need that format. Some people use that for data exchange, so we support that and do a pretty good job of it. We also support a legacy format that Multiplan, the predecessor to Excel, used called Silk. Now, this was the original Excel format supported by iQuery, and it opens in Excel to this day. And it's a pretty solid format, but it's rigid. It can't do some of the things that Excel can do today. So about six months ago, we added native XLS file support output direct from the command. 
It's native Excel. Internally, it's called Spreadsheet ML. It also works in OpenOffice, uh, LibreOffice, and several other formats. About the only spreadsheet program it won't open up in is Apple's Numbers spreadsheet program, but all other spreadsheets have been able to open it successfully without any issues. To do it, you say output Excel, and the results are usually good enough, and that's all you got to do, and you get an Excel file stored on the IFS. But there are modifications or customizations that are supported by SQLI query, and you can even go further with our SQLI query scripting language to set up options and features that are saved in a source file member. So when users run this, they just run a very simple little option and all those things are applied to the query for you. Well, let's look at how to do this. So let's take our SQL statement, change the output parameter to Excel, and go ahead and run it. Normally this would work and it would store it on the IFS, but that's not very compelling so what I want to do for this example is to actually send the Excel file directly to myself via email. So we've added the email parameter of the run iQuery command and we put a little subject in there so that once the Excel file is created, iQuery will automatically evoke the email client on the system and email it to us. So here's my inbox. I just got my Excel file attached to an email. Let's go ahead and open that. Opens right up in Excel. Again, nicely format an Excel version of what the interactive display in the print file looked like. Not substantially different, but in Excel, so the users could go ahead and use it. That's all there is to it. You now know how to convert from SQL statements to Excel. It's that easy with SQL iQuery. Let's go a little further though. Let's customize a little bit. Often the user would want to have column totals. iQuery supports column totals through the column totals parameter. You can either put the relative column number, its position in the result set, so column say 10 and 11, the balance due and the credit due columns, can be specified as column total 10 and 11, or you can use the column names themselves, balance due and credit due. I often prefer to use the relative column numbers because I'm often using expressions. I might say the sum or I might multiply the balance due by 10 or something like that. And once you do that, the names become obscured in the SQL results. So we allow you to put the relative column numbers so that you could still identify which columns you'd like to total. Now to do that, all we have to do is add the column total parameter to the run iQuery command. So let's go ahead and do that. Here's our original command with the email on there. We're going to email it to ourselves again, of course. And we go ahead and we add the column total, balance due and credit due. Go ahead and run that. And then I get my email. This is a new one. And I'm going to get, go ahead and click and open that. Now here's the Excel file with the column totals. You look over on the right hand side, you'll see the balance due and the credit due columns now have two bold column totals on it. And if you look up in the function line here, you see the formula for the balance due is actually embedded into the Excel spreadsheet. iQuery does that for you so that you don't have to have a static value stuck in here. If the user changes data in the Excel, it'll automatically update the totals for them. So it does what you want it to do. And we're pretty um, excited about that capability. Transforming SQL to Excel has never been easier and never looked better. SQL iQuery allows you to transform your SQL results to the formats you need. You know, your data normally looks kind of blah, kind of like a gray block or green screen block. With SQL iQuery, you can output it to anything you like. Excel is the first most often requested transformation format. However, PDF is second. A lot of people just want a printed report in PDF. That works very easily, and you can email the results of that to people as well. Some people will report via email by running it and telling the report command itself to just email the report to somebody. It's pretty awesome. If you have any questions, email me. I'm Bob at CozyTools.com, and this is SQL iQuery. Download a free trial at SQLIQuery.com. Check it out today. Thanks for watching.